मैंने वो यूरिन लेके रखा Assalamu alaikum welcome to Carefonia Care uh, we are going to talk a little bit about streamlining your alginate impressions as i'm sure you have watched my other video in which we talk about how to mix alginate in a ziploc bag uh, i wanted to talk about quantification normally a scoops a scoop is delivered with the alginate that you might have it what you want to do is first fluff up the alginate and then you take a spoonful spoonful and you put it into the ziploc bag A single scoop would be needed if you're taking a quadrant impression in a metal alginate tray. If you're taking an impression for the lower arch, you want to take spoon and a half. That would give you the whole lower arch. The same spoon and a half would also get you the whole upper arch if you're not interested in getting pellet. Pellet is generally needed if you're doing a full prosthesis for the upper arch. If you're taking impression for study models or for orthodontic just study models or to make temporary crowns, a spoon and a half would be enough. So once it, once you have put that into the alginate, the batter comes to using the water container. This is a graduated cylinder, and normally what I see in the clinics is that the graduated cylinder is pretty disgusting in color, and it has water stains and water spots, and sometimes it could be even broken up. And once it's broken, you really do not know how much water it takes. So what we have done is we have quantified the syringe. What we did, we took a syringe which is 50 cc syringe. If you take a look. It's a large one. Comes with a needle. It is a disposable syringe, so of course you can use it a single time, or you can use it multiple times. This is just to transport water. If you put some logic into it, you're using the same dirty container or the same container which you consider to be clean year after year after year after year. But if you were to take a nice hypodermic syringe and not use the needle, then you might be able to use it for a month or two months, or whenever you think is visibly soiled, throw it away and get a new one. Now. We quantified and we came to realization that for each scoop, you need closer to 17 milliliter of water. So, <clears throat> 17 milliliter corresponds to the exact one graduation, and of course, for spoon and a half, you would go half of that 17, which would be about eight more milliliters you add, and then for two scoops, you need about 34 milliliters of water, and. What you can do is fill up the water all the way to the second line, draw it into your syringe, take a marker, indelible marker, and put a line on it, so it won't rub off and won't fade away. Then what you do is you go ahead and you drop the water back off and see where it stops at one scoop line, and then you can put a line there in between. And for a spoon and a half, you you draw a line right in between the first and the se second scoop line. Then what you do is you take clear tape and you put the tape up on top of that. That way the marking that you have made won't rub off. But before you do that, I suggest do write down for one scoop that you need one of these lines, one and a half the second line for two scoops the third line. That way when you're ready, you can go to a clean water source, and I recommend using distilled water. That is the water we use for treatment on the patients. So you can draw the water out and then aspirate as much water as you need precisely. And then once you have the alginate in the bag, you can squeeze the water in there and go about mixing it. Do remember, if it is very cold temperature where you're practicing, or it's cold inside the room, the water quantity should be adjusted down instead of 17 milliliters. Reduce it a little bit, go out a millimeter or milliliter or so, and then you'll be fine. If it is extra hot where you are, increase the water quantity just a little bit. So compared to the graduated cylinder, here you can be very accurate with the syringe, and it is clean. Once you think, like I said, it starts going dirty, or every few months, do throw one away and get a new one built, and then you'll always be clean and good. I hope that helps you. Thank you.